Hey guys, it is Mike from Uyghur Tech and today I am doing a tutorial for Wild Academy subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed, please click that subscribe button. It really helps us out. And also, if you want to see my content, you can go ahead and click on the link below in the description and that'll take you over to my content. You can subscribe to me there. This is video number three of a 10 part GIMP tutorial video series. And so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to select things in your image and how to make shapes in GIMP. So let's go ahead and let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to create a new project. So let's go to file new and I'm just going to, you can create it with whatever width and height you want. This would typically, you guys will already have something that you're editing and I'm just using this as an example to show you how to select. So now that we have our canvas, you can see over here, we just have one layer. It's the background layer. What we're going to do is GIMP is different than your traditional paint program. If you guys are used to maybe the old, you know, paint program or anything like that, you are, were able to create shapes. You know, there was a rectangle school tool and you would create a rectangle or a circle or a triangle. Now with GIMP, you can't do that, but you can create shapes. It's just not in the way that you're used to. The way that we're going to do it with GIMP is we're going to use the selection tools. So up here in the top left corner, you can see that we have a circle and a rectangle and then also the lasso. We're going to stick with a circle and the rectangle today. So let's go ahead and click on the rectangle. And what we're going to do is we're just going to simply select a rectangle that we would want to select. And you can see the dotted lines are where you have selected. Now with this, you have not done anything yet. You have not created a shape. You simply have an area on your canvas selected where that you can do things with. So this is the difference between GIMP and let's say paint. So actually, cause you can see if we go up to select up here and we click none, it clears our selection and we haven't done anything. You see nothing. So let's go ahead and do that again. We're going to click on our rectangle and we are going to make a simple rectangle here. Now what you can do now that you have this rectangle made is you can also add more shapes into it. So let's say we want a circle in the center of our rectangle that is not selected. So let's say we want it to just be kind of a rectangle with a circle in the middle that's going to show the background color. Now the two commands that you can do when you are on this select tool is if you hold shift it will make a plus arrow and that means that you can add to your selection and the command key you can see makes a minus sign that will make an area not selected. So right now we have this whole rectangle selected, but I want a circle in the middle that is not selected. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold the command. You can see it's the minus sign and let's just make a little circle on the inside of that. So now it's hard to tell what you selected and what you didn't, but what we have right now is the area inside the rectangle outside the circle is selected. And I will show you this by let's say we want to fill that with a certain color. So now we have this selected. We're going to go over here and we're going to click this reverse option. So we want white. We're going to fill it with white and we're going to click on the bucket. So you can see that when I click right here, it filled everywhere that we had selected with white. So as you remember, we made the circle not selected. So that circle in the middle is showing the background color. So that is one example of what you can do when you do all these sorts of selections and you're creating colors and you can fill them. You can fill them with a gradient. You can add to selection. You can subtract it. But in GIMP, the selection tool is your friend and that is how you're going to do all your editing. Now, what I want to point out to you guys is if you guys have watched the previous videos, when we created, let's say text, text made itself its own layer. It kind of, it made it not in the background, but when you're using the selection tool, you're going to be using it on the layer you have selected. So we had the background layer selected. Now, if we had a more advanced project going on, we had a bunch of different layers. It's really important that you click on the layer that you are wanting to select. A lot of times this select tool, you can use it to, you know, take out certain parts of an image. If you have a bunch of images stacked up and you want to take out, you know, let's say you just want to crop their head or something like that you can select everything else and you can erase that part. So that is a select tool. That is how you create shapes in GIMP using the select tool. Again, this is, my name is Mike Weger and I'm from WegerTech.com, but this is a video for Wild Academy. For my stuff, if you click on the, my link in the description below, I create a lot of other tutorial videos and I also have a weekly news show called Open Mic Night and you guys can check all that out there. But I hope you guys join us for the rest of the videos in this GIMP tutorial series. But until I see you guys again, tech on.